In my first Replay Monday Fast Tip, we'll be making Seamless full speed to slow motion and then back to full speed sequences in vMix Replay. Let's quickly talk setup. This trick only works if you're using cuts for your event transitions. Otherwise, you'll have to just change the playback speed manually. For this example, let's say you're working off of live. So something cool happens and you make a clip. And when you're watching the clip back, you're thinking, huh, this part would be really cool to watch again slowed down. So what we're doing here is selecting the clip that we just made, scrubbing to the point in time where we want to start the slow motion, and then pressing update out to update the out point of the clip to right here. Now we mark in to start a new clip right where the first one left off. Change our playback speed to the desired slow motion speed, play forward on our timeline to where we want to end the slow motion piece, and then we'll mark out. After assigning that slow motion speed to our clip, we'll repeat this process one more time by marking in, changing the playback speed back to 100%, playing forward until the end of the action, and then marking out. The result, when we select all three clips and play them out together, is a seamless full speed to slow motion, and then back to full speed sequence, where we didn't have to manually change anything during the clip playback. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and leave me a comment to tell me what kind of tutorial content you want to see me make. Until next time, Good luck out there.